Insulin helps your body use sugar for energy. When you eat, your body breaks the food down into sugar and sends it into the blood, and then insulin is what helps move that sugar from the blood into your cells to be used for energy. Uh, guys, insulin is a very, very important substance in our body. We couldn't live without it. Uh, and when it doesn't work properly, that is, uh, in the case of insulin resistance, for example, there can be problems. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, honor health expert and video creator. So going back to insulin resistance, when you have insulin resistance, your cells don't respond well to the insulin there is. And because of this, your cells can't use sugar from your blood to use for energy either. This is what insulin resistance is. And to deal with it, your pancreas first says, oh my gosh, we need more insulin. We got to fix this. So it makes more insulin to fix this. But over time, your body isn't able to keep up and doesn't and can't make enough insulin to keep your blood sugar levels normal. Ultimately, if your blood sugar levels get too high, you may either end up with prediabetes or diabetes. This is what the concept of insulin resistance is. Now you might be saying, well, who gets this and who, who's at risk for it? Well, if you're overweight or obese, if you don't get enough physical activity, uh, maybe if you have a family history of type two diabetes or have polycystic ovarian syndrome, that's PCOS, there are many other conditions and risk factors such as gestational diabetes, meaning uh, you had diabetes during pregnancy, or if you're 45 years of age and older or have high blood pressure. Look, there are plenty of other risk factors as well, but those are a few. Now you might be asking, okay, well, what are the symptoms of insulin resistance? How would I I know. Well, the thing about it is people with insulin resistance don't usually have symptoms. So the way that you would know is that you would need to talk with your doctor. And for all intents and purposes, there's no real lab that we're able to practically check to say that you have insulin resistance. But what we do uh, is we check your blood sugar, we talk to you about your risk factors, and we can come up with sort of an assessment of if you're likely to have insulin resistance, also if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic as well. Now, the good news is that this can be fixed for many people. Insulin resistance can be reversed for many. The way that that's done is you need to keep a healthy weight. Managing and keeping a healthy weight is literally of utmost importance. It's really important to eat a healthy diet and minimize your carbs. And according to the American Diabetes Association, I actually find this uh, promising. Um, you know, if you're able to eat less calories and be physically active, um, you're obviously more likely to lose weight. And studies have shown that even losing just 7% of your body weight can help. You know, guys, this is a great benchmark, or at least a start, a start for you to go in and talk to your doctor about. You know, insulin resistance, I think of sort of along the spectrum of diabetes, pre-diabetes, diabetes, diabetes etc. It's definitely something that you want to be aware of, something you want to know about and understand your risk for. This is why you need to be seeing your doctor regularly for checkups, blood work, etc., and talk to your doctor about what your numbers mean. The idea is to prevent further problems or further issues down the line. Um, keeping that healthy weight exercising, eating a healthy diet um, is so important. I want to know, guys, um, do you know about insulin resistance? Is this new information for you? Um, is this video helpful? What are you doing to manage uh, your prediabetes or diabetes if you have those conditions? And remember, insulin resistance is not the same as prediabetes and diabetes, but again, it can be along that spectrum. Um, let me know uh, what you're going through and, and what's going on with you, because oftentimes what you write helps other people. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on our health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. And guys, please check out my website, drjencoddle.com, where you can sign up for my free health newsletter and check out my new offering called Dr. Jen's Daily Health Tips. Guys, I'll see you soon.